Part 7. We are going to continue with the perimeter of combined figures. You will find this on page 249 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at example 12. The circular portion of the following figure is a semicircle. Find its perimeter. Now remember, the perimeter will be the outside lines. So if I start there, it will be half a circle, so that's a semicircle, plus it will be the length of the rectangle, plus one breadth, plus another length, not that length, only the outside lines. So it will be two length plus a breadth. So if I find the semicircle, it's half pi times the diameter. So half take pi as 22 over 7 times the diameter, and then 2 length, which is 30, plus that breadth, which is 21. Because remember, if this is 21, then this one will also be 21. Okay, and then I just calculate it, and I find my answer. I want you to do, try now 12, do number A, number C, as well as number D. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So try now 12. Let's start with number A. Now, if I want to find the perimeter of this figure, it's more or less exactly the same. So it will be half a circle plus the length plus the breadth plus half a circle. So always first start by just writing down a plan. So the perimeter will be a semicircle, which is just half a circle, plus two lengths. Remember, this is a length, this is a length, plus a breadth. This is a breadth. Remember, if this is 14, then this one will also be 14. Mm -hmm. So plus, oh, let's just rewrite that, plus a breadth. So that will be, now I just fill in the formulas. So it's half pi times the diameter plus two length plus a breadth. And that will be half times, remember take pi as 22 over 7, times the diameter, which is 14, plus two lengths, which is 20, plus the breadth, which is 14. And if I calculate this, I will get 22 plus the 40, there's the 40, plus 14. And if I add it up, I will get 7, 6, and this will be in meters. Okay. <coughs> now, if you do number B, it's more or less the same. Now, it will just be side plus side plus side. So, if this is 7, this is 7, 7, 7. But I don't want you to do B. I asked you to do C. Okay, let's just make space for C. Let's just move it up a little bit. <coughs> okay, so let's do number C. So if I look at C, let's start here. Now remember, it's also a semicircle, half a circle, plus that length, plus that length of the, um, of the two sides of the triangle. So basically, I'm just going to say to find the perimeter, it's going to be half a circle plus the two sides, only the outside lines. So half a circle will be half um, times pi times the diameter plus the two sides. And if I just substitute the values, take pi still as 22 over 7, take the diameter as 28, plus 2 of the sides, and what will the sides be? 25. And then if I just work out this, I will get 44, um, plus that 2 times 25 is 50. And if I just add it up, I will get 9, 4 centimeter. And that will be my final answer. Okay, I'm just going to make space, and then we are going to do number D. Okay, so if I do number D, now just start by just 
focusing on this. Now let's just look. Number D, this is half a circle. This is also half a circle. So if you add it up, you get a full circle plus that length plus that length. So let's just write down our plan. So to get the perimeter, it will be a full circle plus two lengths. And a first full circle will just be pi times the diameter. You can just call it D plus two lengths. Okay, so basically we will just get pi 22 over 7 times the diameter, that's 35, plus the two lengths, and that's 50. And if I add it up, I will get this one. If I multiply there, it's 110 plus that 100, and my answer will be 210, and that will be in centimeter. And that's how we do combined figures. We just work out the outside lines of the figure.